Welcome back to Strong's Garage. Yeah, you got Matt and Jim here. Hey, uh, we're working on the old Model T. Hey, wait a minute! There's no possible way to Strong's Garage! Ready to go? It's a big day, little fingers. Well, today is the day. Uh, we're off to Bruderheim to uh, Strong's Garage, and Matt and Jim and I are going to reassemble the engine for the Model T, right? Let's get out there. There's a certain amount of work to do, but I believe they've done uh, all the heavy lifting already. So, with any luck, it's a uh, afternoon of cleaning parts and twisting screws and whatever. So, unfortunately, it's kind of rainy, so we're taking the Renault rain car and because it's Franker's favorite. Looks like we're at the right place. Uh, I'm gonna get Matt and Jim to walk us through what's going on here. Hey fellas. Yo. You want to go sit in the car for the rest of the day? I sound like my folks. I'll go sit in the car for the rest of the yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I will too. Not till nap time, yeah. Oh, yeah, not till nap time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, here's our, here's the block with the crank fitted. Yep. And uh, give us a spin there. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't like, that lovely? Yeah, you just fingers. Look at that. Yeah. And this we decided, those are already turned 10 under. So, no. Yes? 10. 10 there? 20. 20. 20. Yeah, because yeah. it should be 1250 and they're 1230. That's cool. So and done. all the rods are done. Let's yeah. have a look. Rods are done, yeah. I should probably see what I'm actually filming. Look at that. Yeah, we machined them on the antique 1920s machinery. That looks fantastic. So they're all plastic aged, everything's one and a half down like a chip. One and a half. Mm -hmm. Some high performance camshaft action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the profile of these just unbelievable. Flathead, right? Yeah, flathead yeah, right. profile, right? Yeah. Up just and up and down. Yeah. yeah. And what's this guy here? That's a bum cam that oh, came that with no, okay. yeah, it's, too, it's wore out this way and then also the the bearing surface is kind of poor here. Oh yeah, okay. So we had a sure. pretty good, nice used cam. So we'll put Fantastic. That in yeah, we're picking the best of our hundred year old parts. Yeah, parts that's so right. Yeah. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, the aluminum pistons. Oh right. Yeah. They've all been gapped. Is that an 090 or 060? 60. 60. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, we just used this neat old, uh, this is for piston rings. You put it in there and then you can run your file through it to, oh. to end gap them. So we gap them all the rings. They're all very close in weight. Wow. I weighed them all. So yeah, so ready to go. that's, uh, that's going to be quite an upgrade. Yeah, we got new performance wise. New valve, eh? or new valve springs, new valves. Yeah, yeah. and where's the, where's the adjustable lifter? Oh, they're in the block. Oh, they're already yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. You cool. can see them right here. And they're oversized and they've been reamed. Reamed. So you give oh, wow. that a slide yeah, up and down. Look at that, eh? The your old ones probably up. just walk in wherever they want. Yeah. There's your, uh, I don't think the older ones are hardly even touching the valve anymore. <laughs> so there's the rear cam, cam bushing, bushing yeah. that Jim was just reaming out. Yeah, so it's at uh, where it's got to be now. Specs. Nice. Yeah. Do, do. There she comes. Yeah, line her up. You might notice these bolts on the side of the block. Mm -hmm. you know, when I first was uh, starting my T apprenticeship, I had uh, <laughs> good questions as to what the hell they were. And all they do is just hold the, the cam bearings in place. So yeah, okay. so you just yeah. line up that oh, yeah. hole, that hole. Boom. There we there. go. Then your little pins go in. There, there give that a feel. That's probably a little different than what you're used to, hey? Look at that. Yeah, it's two thou, you're allowed two thou. And after that, it's yeah. time to go home. Yeah, and so they just got these little yeah. titted bolts I swear here. when we take mine out, you guys are going to laugh. I want to take it apart and yeah, see yeah. Really no, an so do I. I want to do an autopsy. Well, I kind of want to keep it together because it's literally Once it a comes running apart, engine. you never put it back yeah. together in good conscience. Right. Somebody set me up with some grunt work today. Oh, we we'll got to oh, figure out. Oh, yeah, let's buddy. Go here, let's go yeah. take a look at this grunt All right, get, set, get me going on the shit work here. Yeah. This ring gear here uh -huh. has to come off. Okay. This has been bogered with a uh, bunch of... So your magnets go on here, right? Yeah. 
and they sling the oil. That's yeah. basically your yeah. oil. Okay. So when you take them off, yeah, you need you the slingers. Will, they, yeah. But this ruin. The, we've gone over this. This engine's crap. Yeah. But so from your good buddy here, you've got there's your three bush triple gears here. Okay. Yeah. On this flywheel, but we figured no since gear. I've seen you use your electric start too, you probably want that. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So yeah. this here. So these bolts, <laughs> these brass bolts, which we have new ones, and they go through the ring gear. So uh -huh. yeah, we'll have to. Uh, Easy out them, grind this smooth, easy out them, and then pull each bolt out to get the uh, ring gear off because I don't have another ring gear. Or actually, I just thought of this, what'll probably work, if you center punch it and drill this peening thing, because it's just shouldered into here, oh, yeah. then Run them punch it way. off, and then you can just then unthread the stumps. Yeah, Jim's on it, he's an engineer. Okay. Yeah. Trust me, I'm an engineer. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's the best way, yeah, let's do that. So, and, uh, bing, drill. Does it matter which way this faces? Yep. Yeah. The tapered okay. side goes to the starter. You can yeah, see it's a little. So we'll have to file some drive. of that. Then we'll put it on after when the magnets. Great. Uh, the oh, and there's look at the high performance here, yeah. guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Performer yeah, himself. That's nice. And this is all pre-assembled, kind of. Oh, it's all rebushing. Oh yeah. So it's yeah. That's cool. 27, 26, 7 light gears has this large brake band. Yeah. Before that, all three were the same size. Okay. And you get the joyous occasion of putting your Kevlar yeah, band on. Okay. Bands yeah, on. yeah, great. Bulletproof. Yeah, Maybe you want to just wear that. So number one alley. is this yeah, in terms of time? Well, because then the flywheel can go on. Yeah. yeah. So the this is the first thing. All right. Yeah. Well, set me up and I'll get busy. Okay. My job is to get this ring gear off of here. Okay, we got the ring gear off of the flywheel by grinding these off, and now we're going to grind this side off, and then put a wrench on here and back these out, and then we're good to go. Okay, got the flywheel debird cleaned up and ready to go. So let's see what Mr. Jim is up to. Oh, hey, look at that. Cam is in. Gears yeah. on. Looking good. Has yeah, significantly Slimy. less slop than. Yeah, the, uh... significantly less than 110 thou, which I have. Yeah, right. We can give that if that's kind of what you yeah, like running. Yeah, we like, can like, accommodate uh, such a. Uh, <laughs> such just an take animal. the bearing out, it'll be close <laughs> enough to what it was. But yeah, oh, right. so looking nice. Beautiful, yeah. Yeah, so what are you doing here? Oh, now we're just fitting our, rods uh, on. our connecting rods onto our pistons. Pinch on. nice. Yeah, they're a pinch bolt here yeah, that gets yeah. torqued up and then wire tied for safety. So, Where, how do you tie it? See a little hole through there? Oh, there. And then you just okay. wrap it around. Wrap it around. So yeah, nice. Just to keep any sort of high RPM failures yeah, at that's bay. Right. Yeah, you've got nice modern aluminum pistons now. Fancy. With the Joneses. Yeah. The as well as the dippers, yes. Yeah. The dippers in the oil holes, so you should be uh, nice. good for many, yeah. many happy many miles dips. of motoring. Yeah, many dips, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll get the pistons all tightened up and yeah. uh, the rods on there, slide them in, the okay. valves, and then the we're and laughing. Head? Is that today or no? Yeah, it very well could be. Whatever, yeah. yeah Whatever you decide. Head, then spin it. Then oh, the, transmission's uh, got to go together. Yeah, Keep yeah. Forgetting but that's all, all after because that's yeah, once we that's uh, right, yeah. flip it, and that's why on Friday we got to get that uh, the coil pack because that's the first thing that goes on. Well, that goes on before transmission. Yeah, that yeah, just of course. Yeah. yeah, cool, eh? Hey? That was very nice. Yeah, yeah it's gonna be fun. You get the performance, buddy. Yeah, performance. twenty-two horsepower. Maybe more. Maybe even more now. Let's put a little bit of slime in this journal here. Ooh. Yeah, that one's got that ratchet. Yeah, the ratchet. Oh, here, I just got to remove the cap. Oh, not very much. It's not here to uh, run the <laughs> ring compressor. Ready? Yeah, just bring her in straight here. 
You're in. Nice. Thanks. Wait a sec. Twist through here. We're in, eh? We're in. Nice. Ooh, oh, that's just nice. offer this up to its new home here. There it is. There it is. Oh. I'm gonna shoot it back. There it is. Cool, eh? Very cool. Very cool. You bet, man. Nice. Well, it's gonna feel like a hot rod because I've never driven one other than mine. Oh, so good. I've never driven one that wasn't shagged. And uh, so that'll be fun. Because even if it makes exactly stock original horsepower, <laughs> it's going to feel fast. Well, we're 60 over, so we got yeah, some displacement. Yeah. Got mm -hmm. that chafing intake, that big aluminum intake. So yeah. We got to find a Holly straight through yet. But Did you say will. you had a. Is the head been skimmed the on? The head's been skimmed a bit, yeah. yeah it's so. not a low head or nothing. We should find one of those one day. But well, it'll be good enough I for can say We're just driving to the store here. You gonna have a stock class at the races this year, Matt? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. You just enter and lose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know this. Enter, you can you, run, hey, yeah. if something else breaks, then I might not lose. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. what I. That's how I get through the tractor pull. Yeah. <laughs> it actually would be cool to see a stock the racing races. I agree. Oh yeah. Bloop. There it Done. is. There it is. Nice. Good. Are you lapping then? I just leave yeah, this? Yeah, I was going to. Go ahead. Um, okay, well I'll just grind it. Okay. Boys well, set up here. We could, probably, uh, we could probably move all those lifters to their lowest position, no? That's what we're going to do. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool, eh? Oh, it goes back and forth. Oh, yeah, yeah no. Dicking around here oh with your little saddle. Oh my god, that is cool. Yeah, that was Tom's dad. That's the same guy that had all this engine stand and everything I got from Moby Lake. Cool. All the time we've wasted screwing around with that intro, you can catch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll grind it. So the grinder's here. This is rough stone. We'll just rough them out with this. Yeah. Rough them out and then finish them with. Finish them on the grinder here. Well, you got one in here. Okay. <laughs> Put them in there. Yeah. Okay. The rest you, of the and just right dress them a little chamfer on them. Yeah. Uh, we got adjustable uh, lifters, so we have to take the extra height out of the valves in order for the adjustable lifters to work. So that's what I'm doing, uh, because that's the grunt work, and that's why I'm here. There we go. What's that, buddy? Your flywheel here. Went ahead and did the tedious oh, part. Well, not tedious, but oh, wonderfully. Yeah. So you got to pull or get the polarity yeah, figured out. The, uh, polarity. 
Polarity, Talk to yeah. All of science now. Science, science, yeah. This goes back to your basics. Jim. Yeah. This is nothing more than a horseshoe magnet, my friend. Yeah, yeah. North and south. So the way, yeah, the uh, the old magneto works is just a swiping mm -hmm. pairs by it. So mm -hmm. then you have two norths, two souths. And so we'll put these on as such here. And so okay, they get cool. bolted to there and then spaced up with these little guys. And oh, so that's yeah, kind of yeah. after, once we get it on the engine and can spin it, yeah, okay. then you kind of true them to, yeah, yeah. so that they're all running in line. But uh, And they just they just stand off like so that? So these, or these spacers and go on here, like yeah, that. Uh -huh. And then and these brass screws go down through there, through that hole and there, into, and into the ring gear. Oh, where they oh, okay. And then peen it out. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. But, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and then the screw itself spaces these this way. Yeah, as well as the, yeah. these, that little tab thing over there. Oh, okay, cool. Kick. Yeah. All right, do you want me to start putting that together? Or uh, is that something we can't do yet? What, what no, no, I was just uh, he was going to make a pot of coffee. and. Uh, okay, oh, well, yeah. fuck all this. Then. Yeah, so we were doing that. Coffee time. Yeah. But uh, no one out of the valves. Do you want the camera to face that? Yeah, thank you. I didn't read it. Mr. Engine yeah, Builder, this is good for an extra 15 tools. horse right you know here. It, yeah, you know right. it. Just yeah. You just need performance people. Right <laughs> Rag here for you. Ragalicious. Yeah. And this is going to get that perfect circle. Now you want to, are these in for the final go? Here? Yeah, yeah, then it's in. What? This one's done. It's never, oh, it's never to come out. Well, then we have to wipe it off. Yeah, yeah, there's brake clean yeah. here too. You can Fritz that on the rag and then yeah. Holy crap, yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, we got Mr. Performance on the bill here. Mr. Performance, you need some See, this is going to suck though when Scott gets a bill because we got a high-end guy here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here yeah. we go. Do, do, you got, do you want some of that Prussian blue or are you just going to eyeballs to see it after? Oh, it's, you can see it. Oh, it's pretty yeah. easy to see. Yeah. See the ring? Yeah. Hey, what do you want to do? Are we cleaning or are we going, is yeah. it going in? What's going on? Yeah. Uh, you can give it a little break. All right, give it a little. Yeah. Sure, we'll give it a little. What's going on, buddy? Just living, laughing, loving. All right, all yeah. right, yeah. Shit. Oh god, how much time, buddy? You want shit? We got some crazy glue if you need it. So. Okay, good. Good to know. Yeah. Anything going on in my world? Still on the clock, you know. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. It exactly. just looks like a powerful build, eh? Listen, this Doesn't is it? gonna be nothing but fucking magic. That's Dude, what's going on. Dude, this just yells fucking. Hi, can yeah, squinch. Fucking. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so good, Trip. Oh yeah, that's fucking good now. Hand of this now. Well, right? They'll never go back to the old spoonie again. Yeah, I've never done this to be honest. Oh really? Oh, they get cut. They, they get just cut slam and them together. Yeah. yeah. Ah. But yeah, you're right. If I ever do it, I gotta boil yeah. this tool. There's no doubt in my mind. I might go a little more actually. That looks like a pretty good ring. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little loop. Is everything else working now? Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we kind of assigned them all, so. Yeah. I took about 15, so. Nice. Nice. Pull the skirt up on it and give her a... And then we slide this guy under here. There we go. That are just a pin, right? Yeah. No real keepers on these. You're closer than you're under there. There we go. There we go. 
And you get the pin in that just pin hole. And, and then the, uh, what holds the pin in? Just it just the, goes just in the, the pressure. groove. Because oh, since the keeper goes it. down, like it's like, yeah, it's there. Uh, and you just flick that Give over since it's nothing more than a lawnmower setup. And yeah. Look at go. those springs, eh? That's not that funny. You can be floating those in no time. I was going to say, let's, uh, yeah. let's keep that in check when we're uh, <laughs> at 1,800 yeah. RPM. Yeah, that's right. Valve float is not traditionally a problem with these engines, I don't <laughs> think. But. Fun, hey? Eh? Oh, it is fun. Very relaxing, rewarding work. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, and not nearly as dusty no as holes. the usual. Yeah, almost quiet. Yeah, right. <laughs> just had it up. Jeez. Put it on a drill. Scott's pacing around there like the freaking yeah. manager at the freaking Toyota yeah, factory. Right. Yeah. Hurry up. Hurry there you up. go, yeah. They're all good, then what's my next uh, job there, boss? Oh, now that we got Ashley is a... Yeah, yeah here, you do yeah, one, you do one. Here. I'll see you guys later. No, no, you yeah. do one. Yeah, I was on my way to grab a coffee or something. Yeah, okay. That's right. Yeah. Hit me. It's just fun. It's fun to do it. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Yeah, no, this stuff is fun. Okay. Well, you're a little hand at this. You'll be putting us out of work Well, now. I don't know. Or you'll be building the tea of your own. This is the thing, right? Yeah. I bet you these engines get pretty addictive. Oh, they're pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Trev, what's up? I'm here too. I'm here too. My name's Franker. Remember my name, Meet? My name's Franker. I'm very good dog. Professor Jim can oh, take us through the magnetic yeah. mayhem. Magnetic mayhem of the Model T, hey? Oh, look at You can make guitar pickups out of these. That's all it is, yeah. So we've got our uh, windings here. Mm -hmm. Coils, I guess you call them. So this mounts, this is stationary. Yeah, so this bolts to the, your engine block yeah. as such at the top. And okay. at the top of your hogshead is that little sort of oh, packer wire goes that in goes there. in, yeah, for the wire for your yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, the wire to the magneto. So yeah, so the one end of these coils is grounded, you can see here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it freaking loops all the way around. And so uh, as these magnets here that are alternated north and south, Pass by, there's like a 40, I believe it's 40 thou air gap in between. And so as it swipes oh, yeah. by, it goes north, north, right. south, north, south, and it just creates a, a this induces a an current. AC current. An AC yeah. current. So how is that uh, rectified to? Oh, it isn't. DC? No. That's oh, why you can only run your buzz coils on it. Right. Okay. Because they don't care. Yeah. Cool. And. So this is why the the thrust bearing is important. Yeah, yeah. When so you like for instance in my there. engine where there's a hundred and fifty thou thrust to movement, you probably got because mine doesn't Oh you got no magneto. No, it's got mag oh, it until you slow down. Ah like well, when you're idling when you're idling it's kind of pip 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 pip. Yeah, yeah. Once you get going it's okay. Because yeah, that gap's critical for that how gap much is energy going is all over. Yeah, yeah. So and so but because, also it's speed dependent. So once you get your engine speed up, mm -hmm. you can kind of Yeah, I think it's compensating when it yeah, gets spun right. up. It's transmission band <laughs> Is it a two man job or is it not sure. The first one is anyway. The first couple. Oh yeah. Hey, Frankers. Thanks for being a good girl today. Here we have our relined transmission bands. There's reverse and brake and low gear and pretty simple. So, that'll all be going together. We gotta get the new uh, coil pack here. And then uh, we'll put all that together on Monday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, and then goes in. That's pretty exciting. So, we're gonna get out of here. And we'll see these guys in a few days. Back on the Chevy and uh, getting painfully close to something that we might be able to inspect. But the park brake has quit working and I'm blaming these guys. So 
told them it was their fault and you better come fix it. Okay, I'm here. Let's do it. So at least I got them until they realized it was my fault. Uh, okay, you run that. I'm going to take the wheels off. Could it possibly be the linkage and not inside? No. Nope. No, I don't think so because none of that ever came off. And it worked when I got the car, so. Oh, yeah, the slow knee showdown is back. Disappointing. I don't know. Want me to go higher? No, uh, no, just enough to get the wheels off and stand. Okay. Something's just backwards, seems to be. I, I think something's adjusted wrong. Yep. Okay. At least we don't need a puller to get these I was going to say, off. everything's clean, rust free. Yeah. And uh, they're not taper fit. You can just slide them off. Everything looks just fine, except for one thing. It doesn't work. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and pull the brake and you guys see what happens. Okay. If it looks really stupid, we'll just delete that part. It's a bit weird. So I could have something in backwards or not real impressed with that. Ready? Yeah. Nothing's, you see it move and then mm -hmm. it's like it's jammed. But we got it put together wrong. Well, we can grab the manual for that, right? So, here's what Ashley did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, the little e-brake lever sits right in here. And when you move it ahead, it's hitting that because that spring should be on this side. And somehow the other side was right. Yeah, that's the side I did, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, anyhow. Actually, I don't even think I was part of this. No, I think this is 100% me. Or, uh, easy, easy, or easy miles. fix. So we'll have an e brake in about 15 Yeah, minutes. that's what we're hoping. That's, that's right. one less thing to fail it. <laughs> what a treat. Okay, let's try the brake. Uh, just right. What a fantastic car. Well, uh, I guess you'll just have to take my word for it that the brake works, but uh, it definitely does. You couldn't even pull the handle before, and uh, it, it worked just fine. When I bought the car, nothing else has changed. So that's sorted. We're getting pretty near the end of the list of things to do on the Chev, at least mechanically. Uh, I'd like to see maybe by this time next week we're getting the exhaust done. The glass is going back in. I don't have it finished yet, but uh, I do have it back from the shop and I'm just installing it. Uh, once the exhaust is finished, I think we're in a situation where we could take it in and get plates on it. And then I'd like to spend a couple weeks on some cosmetics, just uh, detailing it and, you know, I don't want to get too crazy. We didn't buy the car with the intention of restoring it, so I just want to do some, you know, some touch-ups basically on the front fenders, which are kind of beat up. The rest of it uh, is, I don't really want to change it very much. I just absolutely love the originality of the car. And uh, the idea here is to just take care of it and use it on nice days and, and try and add to the 37,000 miles that it's got. It's going to be pretty easy to talk me into taking this car for a drive. Sometimes the Model T is just not going to be fast enough and just going to move ahead in time 10 years and we'll take this guy. Hope you guys are looking forward to seeing this guy out on the road as much as I am. We're going to do our best to just give it a good home and keep it maintained and keep driving it. So I guess we're on to the next thing then. It's less crackhead. It's less crackhead than less the Montana. Crackhead. So hey. who at work was giving this away? Oh no one actually. This was just a private buy in Leduc. I thought well maybe it should seem like a damn good car. It's nothing cool or nothing but it's just an accord. There's a little bit of rusty there and a little, you know, whatever. Just what year? Oh, one. And that mirror got taken off, and then the deer kind of came back and hit the door. But you know. How much? Uh, fifteen hundred. 
Yeah? yeah. Good for you. Yeah, not bad. And the lights and shit work? Oh yeah, everything works. It's quiet and yeah. Brother and you bought auto. a fucking automatic? Yeah, for, yeah. That way I can have my coffee and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. 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 Hey, it's better than that other van. And it's quiet and it runs <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, it's quiet and the tires are good, the brakes are good. Like, it's a decent... It's actually decent. It's decent, yeah. Well played. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a beater, but a beater. fucking yeah. right on, man. Yeah, man. $1,500 bucks, good for you. Good enough. Yeah, yeah, fucking right. I'm really happy for you. Yeah. Go on, Frangers. Let's go. Yeah, we're back and Miles is driving my Edsel. Hey. Yeah, he had Edsel time. Edsel time. Got a Mopar guy behind the wheel of a Ford. Yeah. This could all go bad very quickly. <laughs> right? This is pretty fun. We went and got the car to my friend's storage place and, uh, well, uh, you know, it's uh, it's working. It's behaving. Um, Miles Cleaned up a couple minor things. I think this is the way, right? Oh, I guess I should get on the map and, you know, figure that out. I think okay. it is. I have no idea. Oh, that's got behind Somebody's us. Somebody's following us. See if we can lose that French car. Yeah. What the heck's going on? <laughs> Cool. So yeah, the Edsel's kind of, it feels okay, hey? Oh, I love it. Yeah, man. I love it. It's so cool. Right on. I love having a little target in the center of my hood so I know where I'm facing. <laughs> this guy just doesn't stop following us. <laughs> I've seen that car before somewhere. <laughs> I was worried for no reason, you know. It's typical me, but yeah, yeah thanks. I'm surprised you worry so much. Yeah, You're used man. to driving beat up old cars yeah, all the time. Yeah, this is kind of a, and Scott always says, this is the nicest car you got, and he's right. You know, he's right. Well, it's well tuned up. It's got all new parts in it. It's, yeah, it's, it's happy. Ready to give her. Cool. Going for 100, you'll see it. <laughs> problem. No problem. Made it back with the Edsel. Um, yeah, it's good. Everyone's here. Cool, that's good. All right. I can barely keep up. I know. So you selling your car? Yeah, vlogging it. Yeah. 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 I think Scott would kill me if I sold it. Five bucks. <laughs> What the hell was wrong with it? Nothing. A couple leaks in the carburetor and yeah, I know, but it, it ran. I mean, oh yeah, it ran. Yeah, no, I, I was just being I was just being paranoid again, panicky. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you're not used you to driving do. something nice. You That's right. All your stuff is garbage. Hey, well, I did buy that little Honda there. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> not bad, eh? Yeah, yeah that's one of your nicer you. Know. Yeah, I just bought it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, it, you know, I needed a good car. <laughs> yeah, you do. Here. It's back. It's over time. Hey, Team Edsel. Team Edsel. <laughs> back on the job. The team? Yeah, the team. One man team? The one, well, one and a half. The uh, Team Edsel fuel pump, which looked really nice. Uh, was defective and lasted less than 100 miles or less than 500 miles. So here we are. Miles used his noggin and what did we order this from? A 74, uh, 74 F350? Ford, yeah, 390. With a 390 uses an FE pump so we stuck it on there. It's uh, short of a concourse where this car is never going. It should be fine. Should be fine. We hope. So we're about five minutes from test firing the old Edsel. Probably, yeah. We have to do some funky adapting because the original setup used threaded fittings, which were kind of nice, but we are just, uh, you know, what's, what's the expression? We tried doing it the nice way, but now we're just doing it our shit way. Shit the bed so fast. <laughs> so we'll save all the correct original parts in the trunk, and then as long as the car drives at this point, we'll consider it a success. Did you talk with Deets today, Dean? Yeah, he's upset. He called me at work, man. And yeah, he's talked to the police and he's... No, he's doing everything he can, but... Like, it's just a shit. Yeah, I feel sucks. bad for the guy, yeah. man. Like, just... Uh, everybody's fingers clear? Mike, yeah. Okay, well, crank it first with nothing to make sure nothing's wrong. Okay. Go. Yeah. It just doesn't seem like much. It seems like before. Like you're still getting some? Yeah. Just seems the same. 
Just zero. Just nothing, fucking... You put fuel to it, nothing's coming out? Yeah, nothing. Can you show me? Show, show me. you what? As you guys know, we have the Gravely. Gravely's been uh, hanging around here for almost 20 years. The Pro Master. Pro Master what 60. The front says. Yeah, right? So, what did uh, Steven end up with? Is that a gander at Gravely? Oh my. So you are a sad bastard. Another one. What is I the story? I think it's the same drive unit as yours. Oh. Different engine. This yeah, is yeah. engine that's been put in. Yeah. But, because there's a PTO out the front, which is actually what drives the deck on yours, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's the same rear end. Okay. But instead of being in the front, it's actually right. in the rear. Oh, okay. It's like a so tractor, it's rear engine tractor like a Porsche. deck style. Yeah, yeah. Rear engine like a Porsche. Well, watch when you're going around corners fast. Yeah, yeah. The, oh. the rear end's in a... Try to and uh, what's the vintage? We don't know. I don't know. Seventies, early eighties. Sure. Oh, that's a tough girl. You got the hood? Yeah, it's in the back. Of oh, the good. Truck. Yeah, we'll yeah. have to have a better look when it's all dolled up. Yeah. Cool. I'll scrape the whatever the poplar goo is. The off. black goo is that fiberglass? Uh, oh, it's oh, metal, it's steel. steel. Wow. I didn't even look at that. Cool. And what's this? Uh, oh, a plow, plow. Which is what I need. So it's got motor deck, plow, and a uh, not here uh, snow blower. Oh, cool. So it's like. That's exactly, a really nice unit. Exactly what I need. Yeah, it's perfect. I think it's about at least 10 to 15% less range than yours is. <laughs> so it's. Miles talked me into extra bendy. Extra oh, bendy. Yeah. Extra. But you tap. Go big. You want your little. Uh, light? Yeah, that would be handy. Well, even this little fuel pump job turning into epic shit show. Yeah, I was say, there's no teletouch problems. Right. So yeah, Stephen did his yeah, job. the part that Stephen fixed is fine. The yeah. only thing. Yeah. <laughs> everything else, everything I worked on seems to be <laughs> Shit. No. How is that possible? How? Like, she let you out of the house with that, eh? She did, yeah. Bonus points and getting the AC fixed. Nice. Did you, well, that's what you told her. You just put the roof down. Yeah. Said, I fixed it, dear. It's done. Wow. <laughs> no speeding now. <laughs> You're such a pirate. I'll, I'll try. Okay. All right. Good seeing you, buddy. Take Thank you so much for home. coming over. Thanks for all the help, eh? Always. After everybody went home, I kind of had to walk away from it just because we weren't getting anywhere. I, I ended up taking the original pump all completely apart because we couldn't get the replacement pump to work either. Now it may have been defective or whatever, but I was getting pretty frustrated day two on this two bolt job, literally two bolts hold this fuel pump in. So took out the part that runs the vacuum just to make it easier to figure out what's going on because there's a lot of extra parts in there, so I took all that out. and then reassembled it with just the fuel pump part of it hooked up. It seemed to have a lot of free play and then it would work fine. If you push the pump down all the way, if you push the arm down all the way, it would pump like crazy. There was nothing wrong with it. We put it so I put it back in the car and it would and it wouldn't work. It would just you could just barely feel that it was pulling and I think that's what was happening as the car was running. It was just enough to run the car, but if it got hot, if you let it sit it was low on fuel, it just wouldn't feed and it would uh, starve the thing out, it would lean out and shut off. It was moving the, the little finger that runs the pump, but it wasn't it wasn't moving it down into the into the part of the travel where it actually pumped. So I you know, I cut a V in it and I bent it so that it was uh, a little closer to the center line of the eccentric and uh, welded it back up, put it back in, and it worked fine. So I took it out again and I really reinforced my welds and ground it down and did a little better job, put it back in, and now the car seems to be fine. I, the original fuel pump that came with the car is long gone, I think, so all I can figure is that it was never right and it was just close enough that it ran the car when it was, you know, it ran the car enough that you didn't really notice it, but then when it got warm or for whatever reason it was just shutting off when it was hot. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to the car for another few days and we're going to, it's supposed to be warm this weekend and I'm going to drive it around a bunch and we're going to do everything we can to make it, to make it screw up again. And if I can't, then that's it. Problem solved. Anyhow, a uh, weird problem. And I mean, you saw the part of the video where, I mean, Miles and Dean drove this thing home at 70 miles an hour and it was fine. But then I took it out a few days later and we went, I was, you know, and I was trying to put some miles on it. So we, uh, I was just taking some garage sales, you know, lots of hot starts and lots of short trips. And finally, and this is, I was happy when it died because at least now we had something to solve. And when it quit, the carburetor was empty, yet the uh, sediment bowl was full. So it just wasn't pumping fuel. All the filters were clean, the lines were clean, everything was fine. It just was not moving any fuel. So at least we knew we had a fuel pump problem and that's what got us started. But for the replacement pump to not work, and the original pump to not work and yet we still managed to drive the car home it was very mysterious but luckily it's a two bolt job and the two bolts are easy to get at which is good because i've had them out about 14 times now but that should do it hopefully the old edsel is back on the road because i really want to see uh, dean enjoying this car and putting some miles on it because uh, i actually really enjoy driving it i was genuinely surprised at how good these cars are to drive more to come on the Edsel, of course. We're going to go through the transmission this winter. It's definitely tired, but it'll get us through the summer of, of good times here. And another day whistling by. We got back from our little rescue mission there. <laughs> and rescued mini Frankers from sitting inside the house. <laughs> and, and let's see. Do you know what the test of cars is? You gotta reach through the window without sitting oh, in the yeah. car and so, try starting it. Okay, well, thanks for this. Well, I was. Let's uh, see if she'll go. All right. Fuel pump, take 400 on the fuel pump. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, like perfect. Right. Didn't even have to get in the car. Awesome. Oh, that sounds really decent. And no leaks, no problems, no, leaks. no nothing. Awesome. Well, I hope that does it for now. So you got a couple little details to do. What do we got? Well, uh, gas the, gauge. Ga gas gauge is acting up, right? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a little weird. Oh yeah, it's right at, I filled it up today and it's at yeah, low. It's, it's, it's low, so. so we gotta figure out what that is. Hopefully it's easy. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, tap the dash, that'll yeah. fix it. <laughs> It does in the Honda, though. Yeah. Um, and then we got, uh, we got dash lights that are still out. Yeah, a couple we, of the sort. And, uh, oh, and the heater. Yeah. Heater so and there you go. Yeah. Well, there you go. What's okay. the temp gauge say? Oh, yeah. Right again. Yeah. Did you sit at 170, 60, 70? 175, 178. Yeah, great. It's nice and hot. Cool. Okay. Well, if it hot starts, then wow, the old one-handed hot start is very important. That's, that's something awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. I'd say that uh, I'd say that Let's that see. is a success yeah, story. Thanks, Finally, yeah. Well, yeah. No, I a little appreciate bit of adventure with the Edsel today. Oh, look! I got your tire dirty, Dean. Yeah, I know. We're gonna funny. have to do a detail I'll be like, session. On <laughs> I'll the hire details. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll be busy cleaning out his car. Oh, that's true. Yeah. No. Well, we'll go over there on Saturday and we'll get it back. Yeah, here. we'll get the car back we'll here. Yeah. yeah. I know, what's another car coming over here, eh? What's like, another, yeah, I got over. nothing going on. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, it's got to be reliable, man. That's I want right. you to use it all the time. That's right. There's no point in having it sit in your aunt's garage all the time. It's got to get out on the road. Everybody loves the Edsel because oh, yeah. it's such an icon. I can add just to let me know. It all makes sense. It's really less than 10 blocks from where the car was stolen. And the Facebook ad shows the car. It looks like it's in a back alley. Yeah, right? it does, yeah. yeah. Looks like it's in a back alley in that area. And uh, it matches exactly to the Google Earth picture of that alley. So that's where the car is as of an hour ago. Okay, so what I've done, um, Scott, 
got and I have put the call for dispatch for the address that you provided me. Um, we will get an officer there as soon as possible. Um, they will likely contact you from an unknown or block number just to get some more information um, of the suspect, um, the basic location and all the screenshots you have. So just make sure that you keep that. Um, okay. Okay, all so right. just wait for that and we'll have an officer dispatch as soon as possible to look into this and find the vehicle, okay? You betcha, thank you. Well, that's good. <clears throat> We're still going there. Oh, yeah, I might. Gas light did come on. I'm going to probably have to get gas in case. Yeah, well, we'll but, make it there. Oh, yeah, we'll make it. I'll just let no. Kyle, no. Sounds Kyle good. totally saving the day here. Oh, that guy's fucking smart. Awesome. We find ourselves in the. Uh, on the on the trail of uh, details dave's impala i want to show you guys how kyle did this because kyle is kyle's the man like yeah he he managed to find the exact location of this car from google earth and facebook ads and posts i mean unbelievable the person who stole the car had it up on facebook cheap trying to get rid of it and kyle figured out everything about this guy in about 20 seconds including where the car is it's absolutely awesome so uh, since the police would not go until they had an exact address, uh, Dean and I got in the car and we're going. Uh, meanwhile, I have phoned the police and I did give them the address and I bet you we still get there before them because the cops haven't phoned me yet. So, anyway, uh, we're like eight blocks away from where the car, I mean, we're not even sure it's there. It was there an hour ago. Uh, that's all we know. The guy's obviously trying to dump it very cheap, very fast. The ad was hilarious. No keys, no title. Owner died, it says. Obviously, complete bullshit. I couldn't believe it was Dave's car yeah, at I first know. because I'm like, it why does. would you put an ad on Facebook for a <laughs> stolen, with a, with a stolen car? Like, it does that. And then I looked at it and I'm like, no, that's, that's Dave's car. Like, yeah. it's, I thought Kyle was sending me an ad so we could start looking for a new one for yeah, Dave. But me too. And then I looked at him like, that's actually his car. Like, holy shit. I sure hope we find so it. So anyway, we're very, very close. And when we get close, we're just going to go in the back alley. Okay. Detective Dean and the yeah, unmarked, I, 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 the got, unmarked got, Accord. Like, uh, so anyway, we hope that we can put an end to all this bullshit because car thieves are just garbage. Is this 56? Yeah, south. Okay, hit it. Okay. Put the lights on. Let's go. Yeah, put the cherries. <laughs> okay. So it's going to be on this side. So when we get to 97th, take a left. Turn left. Okay. There's nobody there. Go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Is. Turn right in this alley. That's okay. hopefully where the car is. And we're going to put the camera down. Okay. Yes. There it is. There's Dave's There's car. There's car. Oh, fucking right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go. Uh, here, just, just pull inside this fucking mask here. Okay. Yeah. All right. What he said was, he's like, there are some issues with this car. Um, I think this guy in the white truck was trying to buy it. And the police asked him for his driver's license. Actually, uh, a happy ending. Yeah, yeah, so we're good. Anyway, really happy to report. Details, Dave's Impala found safe and sound. And uh, as for the suspects, uh, I could give a fuck. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there you go. Hey, yeah, well, score one for the good guys. Yeah, buddy. that's right, man. And yeah. all credit for this to Kyle. Kyle, hundred percent, Kyle. Kyle's man. He found the car. He did it all. <laughs> and uh, like, and I asked the cop, I'm like, who's fucking so stupid that they yeah. put an ad for a stolen car? And he's like, everybody. So <sighs> I don't know, man. What do oh, I know? Wow. Let's burn. Let's get. Well, out those of cops are awesome. Sketch part of fucking town here. Yeah, it's lame. Luckily, we got good ghetto camouflage with the Dean Mobile. Yeah, that's here. right. Yeah, I fit right in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's a, we're happy to report that. So good. that's pretty good. fun. And uh, we'll give Dave a hand sorting that out. We're yeah. gonna have to fix the steering column and get him a stereo. A but we can sort all yeah. that out pretty easily. What they broke the dashboard? Yeah, it's all cracked. Ah, that's okay. Yeah. We'll fix it. Yeah, go get yeah, some gas. Yeah, and then it's all over. good. No, it's good. Happy to help Dave anytime, man. And I uh, just wanted to say thanks to everybody for all the kind wishes and all of that. And I thought uh, 
we should ask the man himself how he found the car because the, the, I tell you, the police didn't find it and they would not even go look until we gave them an address. So, so Dean and I jump in the car and we start heading for where I thought the car was, according to the ad, which looked mm -hmm. like the south side. So I'm on the phone with Kyle and I'm like, do you have an address? Do we have anything? So tell him what you found. Anyway, you well, went on the guy's uh, Facebook. Cruising page. through the guy's Facebook profile and found a couple different videos that sort of showed him. Some pieces of paper with his business name and business yeah, his name. registered business name on it, and I found some pictures of the guy himself, and I uh, screenshotted those and sent them off to Scott, and then Googled the business. So at this name. point, we're already on our way to the south side of yeah. town. Yeah, like so, we were at least going west. Uh, so, and then I get a text from Kyle about three minutes later. It says I I found the address. So I didn't ask him at the time, but then today I asked him, so what'd you do? You just... I Googled the We guy. knew the... You found the area where his business was registered. Yeah, I found the area that the business name was what? registered in, which was a, a big neighborhood. A big neighborhood, yeah. Edmonton. And then I took two pictures that kind of had good identifying markers in it. From the ad. From the ad. The Facebook ad. Yeah. There was a very distinctive garage that the car was parked in front of. And then did the... And Kyle aerial grid search yeah. on Google Maps and yeah. found a couple places I liked and the first one I zoomed in on and did street view of is where the car was parked. That's where it was parked in the ad. So I so went to the other had side an of the exact building. address, yeah. So while we were driving there, Kyle sent me the exact address for that the car was parked in front of in the ad. Mm -hmm. And then so I gave the police that address as I was on the phone with them. And uh said that's where we're headed so and uh, so we got there we were half an hour ahead of the mm -hmm. police but since the car was safe and it was just sitting there I thought well we'll just sit here and wait for the cops to show up so uh, funny though because if we hadn't been sitting there the car was very close it had already been sold the guy had already sold it and the buyer turns out the buyer was there wait, when we up. were there the buyer was also waiting for this guy but we were waiting for the cops and the buyer didn't know that. So I think, I'm not sure if the buyer got pinched as well, but get. They probably got some form of pee, -pee slap. <laughs> so anyway, we just wanted to uh, share that with you guys that, uh, and uh, actually one other viewer sent us the same ad. Uh, and if Kyle hadn't seen it, then we probably would have uh, also seen the ad eventually uh, because one of the viewers responded to my post. So mm -hmm. the power of uh, a the network. Internet. Yeah, and the power of Google Maps. That uh, and dumb you just criminals. happened to have parked the car in front of a very distinctive garage. It yep. had two doors on it. They were different colors than the rest of the building. And, tin and it had a tin roof. So Kyle was able to spot the tin roof from the Google Maps and then zoom into the street view and, he, and there's the garage that the car was parked in front of. Anyway, uh, we're going to get it back together for details. Uh, it needs a new ignition, door, door locks punched, punched, the usual bullshit. Call them punched, door mm. lock punched, Pulled the stereo, stereo the wrecked, bar. dashboard broken, but engine looked 100% intact. So I don't think they did any real serious damage other than typical vandal bullshit. And it wasn't so, burnt or smashed. No, it wasn't burnt or smashed. Didn't use it to go through a wall for an ATM. No, and that all could have happened. So anyway, uh, just wanted to share that with you guys, and we we're kind of we're just happy to have it back and score one for the good guys for a change because not very many cars get recovered after they're gone, and the police would never have found it. They're just you know, and not blaming them. No they're just too busy. They're too busy with actual things going on. So don't be afraid to look for your own car, and right and. Well, just wait, I can't, I can't say. I can't give any lifestyle advice. Why not? Because you're supposed to be afraid of everything and leave it to the government. Oh, right. Remember? Right. right, right so, right. Uh, anyway, do be afraid. Hide in your house and never do anything to stick up for yourself. Uh, Super oh, fucking Say goodbye, right. Frankers. Yep. <laughs> Cops marathon, eh? mm -hmm. uh, Detective Kyle. <laughs> Gotta hone my skills. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching the show this week. As always, we had a great time putting it together and uh, a lot of fun on various heaps as usual. 
please uh, do hit the old subscribe button if you get a chance. It really does help us stay on the air. And of course, we do really enjoy reading any comments and very much appreciate if you hit the old like button or the subscribe button or both, preferably. And if, uh, as, uh, as usual, I have to uh, remind people, if you think you're subscribed, to please double check as YouTube does unsubscribe people from this channel. Maybe lots of other channels as well, but definitely this one. And thanks uh, again uh, to everybody for your kind wishes for Dave. And let's see if we can get his car back together here and get him back on the road. Because that's something that nobody should have to put up with. Have a great week and we'll see everybody very soon. Cheers from me and the menace dog who is asleep in the house. He's a regular Same old shit. wanted to mention you guys uh, that uh, last week's video got demonetized so my week's work went for nothing because we played 40 seconds of a cover at the end of the video and somebody claimed the video and stole all my money really yeah so no more banned in the videos guys uh, right on you can thank YouTube for their excellence YouTube banned the band yeah like I, I can't even imagine how in the fuck they justify that? Like we, you know what I mean? There's channels like, who, dedicated yeah, to, playing to playing cover covers. songs. So anyway, uh, I, I can tell you for sure that our version of that cover was not good enough to be confused with the actual recording. The whole week's work uh, stolen by somebody who split the money with YouTube, presumably. So anyway, YouTube winning more friends around here. So, uh, again, sorry guys, I really thought it was kind of fun sticking the little band clips at the end. Uh, but uh, even if they admit fault three days later, 
doesn't matter because anybody who's going to watch my videos watches them in the first 48 hours and then so even though they may change their minds and admit that they were wrong it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's gone so yeah sorry guys no more band clips uh at least not until i can get some figure i don't know i'm just so mad about it that i'm just the amount of extra effort that we put into all that stuff and then, they, and then for them to just rob it 